testing, one, two, one, two. It's been a long day, I just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, but now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow. But we're going to fill out a day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. See, getting my hair weed would be so great, you know, it would be nice, a nice experience. I'm going to get a sewing, but I'm definitely going to have to wait because of the video that um, I have to do. And uh, this wig is getting hard to maintenance because the bottom, like I got caught in the rain, it done went old fast, you know. Um, I normally don't wear like real, real straight hair, and I've learned that the straight hair is hard to take care of. But, but cutting it, yeah, that, that feels easier. But my daughter said, "Mom, we're about to go walk. It's gonna, it's gonna tangle up and stuff." And I said, "No, I, I don't know. If it do, I'll just cut it some more. I'm gonna keep cutting it until I can't cut it no more." But yeah, I hope y'all doing good. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the Valentine's Day milk and cookies. Yeah. Yeah, and I hope you're having a great, great, great Sunday. Did I say that already? Yeah, I'm having a good Sunday, y'all. I feel good. Mom's feel feel good. Mom's feel feel good. Mom's feel feel good. Hey, yes, I feel good today, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to get my butt out of this house for a little while. I don't even have my wig glued down. I want to put on a hat. Let's see if I cut this mess either. My daughter, she need to hurry up for I start to feel unmotivated, okay? She got me hyped to go walking, so I'm going to do it, okay? Let's see. Now, oh, I'm so bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, Spare, why you cut that wig like that? Oh, my gosh. I know I'll start from here, but I don't know. Just feel like. I don't know. Don't look. Well, I'm stretching it, so I'm going to come up a little bit. Now I'm gonna tilt just a little. Now I'm gonna keep straight. Okay. Okay, girl. Uh huh. Um, it looks even. It's gonna be even enough. And if it's not even, it's gonna work. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the heat. I'm keeping the heat on while we're gone. It's been cold. Okay. Um, yeah, spare. It looks even. Uh, <laughs> oh, spirit, you know, cut that wig. I'll cut the wig. Oh, gosh. Okay. Anyway, it's about to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe I should have it all go to the back. Go to the back. Then put my hat on. How about that? to the other side. Huh, Lord. So maybe it's not even. <laughs> I like the words. The words. Yes, okay. Let me go get my walk on. And then I'll come back and edit a video for ya. Mm. Hey, 
Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. I am back. Yes, with another chit chat. Just running my mouth, letting you know how my life went today or life update, whatever you want to call it. But I did promise you that I will be doing more of these. I am like, woo, exhausted. I hope that your day went really, really good today. Today is Matic Monday, Monday night, Monday motivation. Yeah, so um, I am going to make me some tea. This is organic uh, chamomile with lavender. Yeah. I love this tea when I get in the house and I just need to take like a break, a break. I went to go pick up my son today from the airport and he like literally told us 10 times what time to be there to pick him up today. We got it, okay? We were on time, okay? We get there, he not outside. We had to go around four freaking times. The first time the lady said, um, just ride back around really, really slow. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ride real slow. Gets to the yield sign, it puts you back on the highway. So, you know, cars are coming, so you gotta go, you know. So next thing you know, I'm back again. And they like, you gotta go back around. Then they blowing the, the light, they, they, they putting the lights on us, blowing some freaking loud horn, scare you to death. I had to keep going back around until my son was out. And that right there just kind of like put me at a light. Next time, call an Uber. Like a cab, I can't. I can't, oh my God. So uh, from there, uh, we came home and me and my daughter uh, decided that we would go walking. Look at this, my honey is like out. I'm the only one used to freaking honey. I can't even be mad with nobody. My honey is gone because of me. And now I gotta sit here and wait for it to drip to the bottom so I can have some sweet tea. Otherwise, anyway, this is gonna be my last cup of tea. I gotta go to the grocery store. Uh -uh -uh. Ooh, excuse me, I am out of groceries in my house. I'm out of creamer. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of every time my daughter hear, like, every time my daughter smell a stinky smell, it could be anything. It could be hot wings. Mom, you party. I was like, no, it ain't me. Why is it always gotta be me? Enough. I'm just gonna let the rest of it out. Anyway, oh my gosh, it been raining all day. It started drizzling. We dropped my son off and we were gonna go walking. It started drizzling really hard. <sighs> Discouraging, you know, so we ended up making a U-turn and we decided to stop at a Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. And we got some um, donuts. Mm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm thinking about doing a, a video for the ASMR Intense video because I need to get it together. I It's always something. It's always something. Every time I make plans to do something, something else come up. Yeah. How you like my nails? My daughter did my nails. Yeah, they're really pretty. I love them. I love this color. I was going to put on this color lipstick today. Um, but then, I don't know. I just felt like I wore these camouflage pants. And they had purple in them. So, I was, I don't know, inspired by the purple. So, I did the purple lick instead of the... Burgundy lip. I 
I'm definitely feeling burgundy right now. I don't know why I'm feeling burgundy, but I am, okay? And I'm so happy to see my son. So <laughs> he was telling me, he said, Mom, you look really pretty, but can you not, can you not wear that pink wig in public? What? He said, well, you're known in these streets. Mm hmm Okay. Nobody's going to recognize me today. Nobody. My daughter told him, she said, Jordan, I try everything. I try to disguise mommy. I try everything. She go out the house with no wig on. And she still get recognized. She go out the house with a scarf on. She still get recognized. She wear her natural hair. She get recognized. I, I, got, I, I got that face. Like, people gonna recognize me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. I mean... Um, I'm most times saying to myself, don't nobody know who I am. Don't nobody know who I am. We go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> we go to Dunkin' Donuts tonight. Um, and the young lady took my money for my donuts. And she was just like this. And I was like, waiting for her to be like, she know who I am. And she kept saying, she, she touched her hair. She's like, you're not on YouTube, are you? I said, she said, are you the lady that eat the pickles? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, I watch you. <laughs> so shout out to Mia and shout out to Nella. Oh, I love Nella's name. I love Nella's name. She told me that it means baby. And I guessed it. She's from Guyana. Guyana. I think I'm saying that right. But ah, Guyana. So, God. Anyway, I got it right. I was so happy. She is so pretty. When I tell you pretty, pretty, pretty. Both of them are so cute. So beautiful. And Mia was looking cute with her ponytail. And Nella was looking cute with her hood on. Her lashes. Yes. So thank you, ladies. I had a nice conversation with them. You know, but then from there, I'm back home. Nadine's editing a new video for the vlog. We did a mukbang chit chat. Yes, uh, you want to um, join us for our mukbang, our fish fry, going over to Nadine's spear. It's Nadine's spear. It's Nadine's spear. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey, y'all. Yes, go home, go, go on over to the Nadine Spirit channel. And Dream is back. I don't know if he's gonna upload a video, I don't know what he's up to. He went to go play hoop tonight. He said he wasn't gonna go out, but he went to go play hoop. That's what he said, okay? Okay, y'all know he's a man. It's raining. Y'all hear the way that rain coming down? It is really, really raining. Rain like that makes me really, really sleepy. But I love listening to it. I love the rain. I really do. Mm -hmm. And I, if I was to own a house, I would want one part of the house to be made out of tin. So I can hear the rain come down. You know, and I could just sit in like a nice recliner, a night, get me a nice pillow, and listen to me some nice music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just sleep. Mm, I could just imagine it. I love hearing the sound of rain. 
Like me and the rain, we partners. I love the rain. Because rain, to me, is a sign of cleansing. Even though too much of it is just, it's like me, too much. It's too much. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, um, Donovan, thank you so much for your video. I love your grandma. She was so, she's, your grandma is so beautiful. Thank you for the video. It was very nice and warming to watch. It was just so loving. I like your video, Donovan. Thank you. And um, I got a couple of young people that are like 12 years old, 11 and 12, that watches my channel. And some of them are going through so much. I got one young lady who left me a comment who told me that she was living with her mom, but now she lived with her dad. Her dad just had two daughters, and or she got two sisters now. And her dog had died, but then her grandma had got a dog. I think the na name is Sandy. But then she feel like she's not doing so well with the stepmom and something happened I think she didn't have a relationship with her mom so I just want to send out love and light to her and I pray and hope that she has guidance support system as she growing up and I pray that the right people come into her life and I also pray that things get better for you. And I want to tell you, hang in there, go to school, focus on finishing school, focus, in, focus on how you're going to take care of yourself. And before you know it, you're going to be an adult and you're going to be in the world to start creating your own life and everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And I'm sending you out a big hug from spirit, like big, 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 big hug. If I saw you in person, I will hug you for a long time. Because we all deserve to just feel like somebody loves us, you know? And you don't have to physically be involved with someone to love them. So I'm telling you, I love you. And I'm sending you out my love. And I got you in my heart and in my prayers. And the same thing go for all of my young people that have written me, sent me emails, um, left me comments. I got you in my heart because I know some of y'all go through so much peer pressure. Some of y'all go through bullying. Uh, some of y'all go through feeling like you're being neglected at home. People don't want you there. You, you're so uncomfortable in your own home and that, that hurts me. It hurts me because I've been through similar things that some of you all been through. But I'm just praying and hoping that um, some comfort come into your life and that you are surrounded by people who just instantly love you and care about your well-being. And I have some, I want to send out a love and light to my, I have so many people here that I can call like my sisters, you know, like I love you guys. You guys are the best. Like I know if we ever meet, it's just going to be like a party with just two people to a thousand people. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be like, hey, yes. <laughs> but my sisters, I want to send out love and light to live, love and laugh. Is it live, laugh and love? told me she's been dealing with anemia really bad lately. So I'm sending you out my strength, whatever strength I got. I don't have much lately, but whatever I am given from the good Lord, I am sending it to you. I am sending it to you. You got all my love and strength because I want you to feel better, girl. I have not seen too many comments from you. And I said to myself, I know she going through something. Something's going on. But I said, you know what? If I don't hear from her, maybe she's taking a break from the Internet. And she's loving on that new husband she got. But you told me you're not feeling well. I don't like that at all. I went straight to God and I said, hey, you have 
got to send my girl some strength and some comfort so she could feel better soon, okay? And I think I saw um, Kayla left a comment under her comment that she has anemia too and she's such a little girl. So I pray that you um, have better days. I know that you go through a lot dealing with that. It's terrible. Um, I suffer with low iron as well. I deal with it almost on a daily basis. Mm, this tea is good. So, someone else sent me a comment. I got so many beautiful comments. Y'all are like the best. I, I think I'm more tickled and more overwhelmed with the comments more than anything. Like, I love that more than my doing ASMR. Like, I love my, my, my comment communication community. My community, my community is the best. Like, I have the most positive community on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter, too. Like, I feel like I have the best community. The people that follow ASMR Chew are, like, the best positive people. And I love it. But um, someone had left me a comment, and they said that, yeah, spirit is, is, you know, if you date, someone may recognize you from the Internet because you are, like, semi-celebrity. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't consider myself a celebrity, you know, like, because I have like my, well, I have my favorite entertainers that I absolutely love. And I can't tell y'all who my favorite entertainers are right now. One day I'm going to tell y'all, but I may have to tell y'all in the book because I found out that the majority of my favorite entertainers hate me. They hate me, okay? <laughs> okay? Like, the drag towards me is not enough. They let me know they, they do not like me. I get the messages, okay? I get them. But, um, and then, ooh, but then I got some of my favorite entertainers that love me. Yes. Oh, my God. And the ones that don't like me, I still love they tell. I still love they tell. Now, some of them... You know, I I had to like kind of let go in my heart because, I mean, who wants their feelings hurt? You know, especially when you like I'm. I feel like I am not an entertainer. I am not a celebrity. I am a viewer. So when I run into my favorite entertainers, like, you know, I'm like all oh, the pieces. Like I will go freaking nuts. Okay, but she said that I'm seeing my. Celebrity. <laughs> so it's most likely somebody is going to recognize me from the internet. And she said that it's okay to like date someone who do recognize you. So now I got to figure out. I don't know how I'm going to go about it. But look, I do have someone in mind. I've been thinking about it. But I just, I just don't have to gush y'all. It's like I be peeping. I be peeping. And then I feel all like dang. Get out of their profile. <laughs> like, I will go and, and, and check my messages. And I answer my comments. And they leave, they, they leave me messages, you know. And then every time I get a message from them, I'll go look at their profile. And I'd be wanting to just, like, respond more of in a personal way. But I'll be at the type way to like No You know I'll go do it. Hello, hello, hello. I was like, oh my god, erase that, erase that. Hi. Oh, erase that, erase that. Uh, okay. Hello, sweetie. No, 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 erase that. Oh my god, how do I start out? How do I start out? Okay. So then I go and I say, okay. Hey, how you doing? It is nice. That's, oh my God, I sound like myself. I, oh my God. See, that's the worst because 
I have been myself since I started my internet journey. So it's like, I don't, it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So how do I be maybe not so myself? Because I want to be able to write something that sounds not ASMR as you. <laughs> oh my God, you didn't hear that snort, okay? You didn't hear that. So, I just was, I was just thinking, okay, let me just go check that profile out one more time. And then they left me their number. I was like, oh my God, I got their number. So then I was like, and they right here in. So anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, like she said, it's nothing wrong with someone finding out that you're from the internet if you meet them or they recognize you from the internet. So I'm, I'm reconsidering, thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I will give it a go. <laughs> you didn't hear that snort. You didn't hear that snort, okay? You did not hear that snort. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, you guys, I think dating is on my mind because I keep seeing they selling roses. It's so early. They already selling roses out there, but it's Valentine's. not really Valentine's Day around the corner. Valentine's Day is around the corner, y'all. Yes. Mm hmm They selling roses. You singing all the chocolates. Um hearing all the love music. Yeah, you it's like about time. This is baby making season. This is definitely baby making season. So you start thinking about love, relationship, getting to know someone. Mm-hmm. But I'ma say this. Dina from Big Brother has been dating a guy for five years, have not FaceTimed him. She has not met him. That is like the, <laughs> that is a no. That is a huge, big flag. Oh my God, no, 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 no. The moment someone tell me that we cannot FaceTime, like immediately, I'm not even wasting my time. I think that's a huge no. Oh my God, five years, that's some serious commitment. Five years being committed to someone you never even like FaceTime or met. <sighs> no. Hmm. If you're gonna do the internet dating thing, definitely set up a, some time that y'all can talk, meet right away. Do not get linger on. I don't want to see you on catfish. Okay? I don't want to see you on catfish. <laughs> I think Dina's feelings was hurt. Because everybody was telling her they think she's being catfish. Because right after that, she started acting weird. Like not wanting to be around nobody. She's probably worried. She probably really want to talk to this person she's been talking to and find out if she probably want to investigate to find out if he's real or not. You know? That's got to suck to be talking to somebody for five years and you could be being catfish. Like, oh my God, that is the worst. Like, mm-mm. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No. Okay, some of my guy. Okay, Alex. Alex asked me, Alex told me that they are one of my spirits of lights from my website, www.asmr.com. And they want to know when was they going to get a newsletter. Well, soon you're going to get a newsletter. You're going to get some exclusive and some information. I'm going to send it out to all of our people who signed up for the website. It's going to let you know it's coming soon. I'm still working on the website. I'm still building it up 
pretty much still trying to like it. We like getting to know each other, okay? And sometimes my website frustrates me because it takes a lot of work. Like, I wish I did not have to be the one on that website. Somebody else can run it for me, but it's not that way right now. It's one of you doing her own thing, okay? Okay? And my website is just set up so my people can know when I load a video because I don't believe all the notifications is going out all the time. So many things has changed. It used to be where you're, you can tweet your hashtags out to Twitter from YouTube. You can't do that no more. So that's an extra step that I got to take and do and remember to do. Um, you no longer see um, Google Plus, you know, from YouTube. So it's just like, what else? What else? Okay. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of time and work with the website, but I am getting it together. Okay. <laughs> I am, I am trying to get it together, but I did promise you that I would be chit chatting with you and rambling with you and talking to you guys and keeping you guys company more. I told you that I was back. I need to call this a series. You know, like, um, I think this is the third video that I am filming since I've been back just chit-chatting and talking, running my mouth, which I love to do. Someone in the comments was singing something about, they heard in one of my videos that I was singing that I hate my neighbors and that I'm going to be moving. Absolutely, absolutely. I am in the process of trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's the fact that I do ASMR that I just attract loudness around me because everything around me is so quiet. So it's always like loudness everywhere. Even like my neighbors are the worst. I, I always have the worst inconsiderate neighbors. I'm going to tell you what's so weird. My neighbors had the nerve to knock on my wall one day. They actually did like this. I was looking like And then my daughter said, Mom, why is they knocking on the wall? I said, I, I hope they don't think we're supposed to knock back. What we supposed to be like, knocking neighbors now? You know? So they knocked again. So then my daughter, she goes up to the wall and she goes, and then they go. I said, oh, no, stop it. That's it. Stop it. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, like, you gotta be kidding me. What neighbor you know knock on their wall just because they can hear you and we can hear them, they knock on their wall just to be like, we are knocking neighbors. Like, absolutely not, no. So yeah, that's the only reason why I will be moving again. So yeah, that's the only reason why I will be moving again. And also, I want to just be able to, when I want to film, I don't have to wait for the lawnmower to stop, the blower to stop, the construction to stop. The, the, I'm, 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 I'm right, like, I hear the ambulance, the fire truck, the police cars. I'm like in dead city, okay? So now I'm thinking about just maybe doing more country. Matter of fact, okay, you know you in a country, okay, when you see roadkill and it is no longer a deer, okay? It, it's not a, a raccoon. It's, it's not somebody's poor dog or cat. It's a whole cow. A whole cow. I was like, oh my God, that is like the saddest thing. It was a big black cow on the road that had been hit, howled. How, how, how somebody let their cow get loose and how somebody run into a whole cow, okay? And then we, we went and we checked out something else. Another cow. Another cow been hit on the road, uh, a white one. 
a white pretty cow on the road been hit, okay? That's when you know you're in a freaking country. I was like, okay, <laughs> you turn. <laughs> oh my God, that was like the saddest thing. Like, I actually feel like bad for the cows. I feel like the cows are very, very special animals. I know that's gonna sound weird. And I know that most people just believe that cows are just for meat and milk, you know. But I feel like the cows are not supposed to be eaten. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I just, I feel like the cows are very special animals. I actually seen a movie one day where um, they was going through this life of a cow, or is it, was he a bull? Is a cow and a bull the same thing? They might be in the same family. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, they was going through this life of a cow, and this cow basically was just watching everything that was happening to other cows around him and watching what was happening to his life and knew that his life was gonna be cut short, knew that he was gonna die. It was just terrible, okay? I don't remember the movie of it. I, I don't remember the movie, don't ask me, I just remember. I think out of the whole movie, it wasn't even about the cow, but that's the most, that, that, that was the part that stood out to me. I don't remember nothing else about the movie, but just that part. I just thought, oh my God, that is just horrible, horrible. And I'ma just, I'ma just say this. A lot of people do not believe in reincarnation. I get it. I don't really care if you believe in reincarnation or if you don't. But I'm saying, I'm going to say it. What if reincarnation exists and you come back as a cow? And you know, the way a cow lives, the way what happens to a cow is just so sad. So sad. So sad. You guys, I put my eyelashes on this morning. I felt like I did a good job. What you think? Yeah. This one right here is hurting. Like I can feel the sting in my eye. Like it's been hurting all day. That means I didn't put it on right. I've been wanting to snatch it off all day. Like, seriously snatch it off. Okay. Um, I'm getting better about putting my eyelashes on. <laughs> but, man, it, it hurts to be beautiful, okay? It hurts to be beautiful sometimes. Why can't I wish that doing stuff like this came easy for me? But it don't. It just doesn't. And my eyeshadow is popping. Popping. So I was like, yeah, I definitely need some eyeshadow, um, eyelashes. Did I say eyeshadow earlier? I mean eyelashes. Oh my God, you guys. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> but I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to... So I'm actually not going to sleep right now. I'm going to watch um, Big Brother On Demand because I missed the actual show. Um, two people supposed to be evicted tonight, and then it's gonna be three left. I think it's gonna be. I think the top three is either gonna be Tamar, Lolo, and Ricky, or it might be Ricky, Lolo, and Dina. I don't know, but I think Candy definitely going home. I hope not, but I don't know, and I don't know what's gonna happen to. Um, Tamar. I want Tamar to win the game. Like, I really want her to win the game. For some reason, I just want Tamar to win that game. But I wanted her and Candy to be the last two. But I don't know. I don't think so. But Celebrity Big Brother has been really good. Um, I had got a comment from so many people wanting me to talk about the affair. So... Yeah, one of these days, I'm definitely going to talk about the affair. I did end up, I was, remember when I was telling y'all about the affair was so good, but then to see, to see the rest of it, I had to subscribe, 
Um, I think it was it showtime. I had to like literally pay for it. Oh, my wig started to itch. Time to come off, okay? Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, yes. It's time for the wig to come off. Start to itch. Yes, it's got to go. Um, yeah, I had to end up paying for it. And I saw the rest of it. I saw it. I saw it to the very end. That's a good show. That is A1, a really, really good, chaotic, sexy, crazy, suspense, thriller show. It would have you, I cracked up laughing, I bought tears, I was angry, I was confused. I was all emotions and I absolutely love the show. So one day I am going to talk about but now I think I will have to do a refreshment because I don't remember the character name. Maybe it'll come to me when I start talking about the show again. But one of the girls that the main character, she played in Orange to New Black. And I loved her in Orange to New Black and I loved her in The Affair. The Affair was absolutely good. So I am going to talk about that show. That show had me so... Oh my gosh, that show was crazy. So yeah, I will talk about The Affair. Yes, when I get a chance. I think the reason why I didn't talk about The Affair, cause um, it's like, it was like so much of a show. I gotta find a way to be able to talk about it and break it down for you within an hour, okay? Um, so, okay you guys. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you. Um, I will see you again soon. Yay, Spirit is back. Spirit is back with her videos, her running her mouth and talking again. I know I've been gone. I've been gone, y'all, but I'm back. I was being conf conflicted, trying to figure out if I still <laughs> want to continue. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic about it right now. I'm not saying that I'm not weighing my options because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, for now, I am back. And I'm, I'm, I, I, I hope you enjoy the videos while I am here. And because I am enjoying y'all, I love you guys. I absolutely love my my babies that call me Mama Spirit. I love my sisters who call me Spirit Girl. And I love my, yes, yes. I love my babies, my queens, my kings. I love you all. Yes, indeed. And Spirit Girl. I ain't do that right. Let me do that again. Let me do it. I gotta move the camera up. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I can't. Alright. Testing one, two, one, two. It's been a long day. You just wanna go away. You can't sleep at night. And now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow But we're gonna fill out a day We can tingle it away I gotta put my tongue y'all so weird <laughs> <laughs> That ain't me Okay Okay y'all so We got Some tilapia, yes. fried tilapia, fried rice. Mm -hmm. I'm starving, y'all. With a piece of bread. Like toast. Wanna, yeah, toast. <laughs> if you want to make a sandwich or something, some mm -hmm. salad. I got some barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. We got salt with a fry. Mm -hmm. Cajun fries. Got some fries. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she has the hot sauce. Oh man, the battery's about to die again. I have the buffalo sauce. And I've gotten it. Oh, you showed your barbecue sauce, right? Yeah. Hold on. So yeah, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try this rice. I told him to fry out tilapia hard. Mm-hmm, he did. Mm -hmm. 
That's good. The rice Ooh. is good. Yeah. Rice My is fish saying, hey, where the river at? Yes, it's right here. Right here. Keep coming. Is that thin? Yeah, keep coming this way. Come this way. It's coming. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm. Mm. The rice is good. Now, I usually only like whiting, but the way he cooks it, mm, the tilapia is, is not better than the whitey, but it worked out for me because it's not fishy. I don't like fishy fish. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I like it because he seasoned it real, like, really good. So how y'all been doing? I know it's been a while. I know y'all missed us. We've been gone. So, mm. 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 What is hot? 